हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस स्टेप थ्री विच इज सेटिंग अप द सी आई सी डी पाइप लाइन सो या लेट्स गो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द स्टेप थ्री दैट इज सेटिंग अप सी आई सी डी पाइप लाइन बिफोर दिस वी हैव डिस्कस स्टेप वन वेर वी हैव टू प्रोविजन द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सेकेंड वी हैव टू फेच द सोर्स कोड फ्रॉम एस सी एम टूल एंड देन दिस इज द थर्ड स्टेप वेर वी हैव टू सेट अप द सी आई सी डी पाइप लाइन okay so basically uh, you know uh, the questions that the interviewer can ask first of all to write the basic pipeline script okay they will just check that what all steps uh, are you following secondly that they can ask is like uh, how are you handling like what type of pipeline script have you written to handle the deployments for you know different environments okay and suppose third question can be like if it is a, a master slave configuration in in your organization so how do you you know uh, make sure that the uh, if, uh, if that this particular step should run on particular node how can you make sure that thing then uh, you know uh, the so you can tell accordingly like if uh, you are you have written the parameterized pipeline where in that pipeline you have given the parameters and according to the parameters the you know uh, the steps will get triggered there is also one form of pipeline where is multi branch pipeline so for every branch the pipeline script will trigger that also i tell how to look uh, you know uh, how it can be configured so first of all let's start with uh, this where we have to mention basically we use uh, the declarative way of writing the pipeline script and uh, so first we start with the agent like on which agent our uh, pipeline script will run so if it doesn't matter on which agent it should run so you give it any if suppose the que the question uh, that uh, how will you make sure that your specific step should run on specific node the answer to that question is you can mention here none so uh, when you mention here none so here when you are mentioning the steps you can you have to mention the agent also agent and the label of that agent that on this step will run on this uh, agent you can mention the label label we have to give while you know when we are configuring the nodes and clouds we have to give the label so accordingly we have to mention the label so this you can tell that in this way you can uh, make sure that the you know uh, your uh, step will run on particular node also uh, we can add the timeout uh, step too because uh, timeout is something like if suppose a pipeline script is stuck uh, from very long time so if we mention the timeout so this is a good practice like after some time uh, that uh, the script will timeout so it will not remain in a stuck state you can mention the timeout also you can mention the trigger also that how it is getting triggered this uh, it is by github or uh, push or something you can mention you it it's pol acm what trigger is it is you can mention that too so in this way you can uh, like write your uh, pipeline script whereas in parameters you can give the branch uh, parameters you can give the you know environment parameters like what for what environment what steps have step have to be done this is done when you are doing the deployment actually because uh, in a production environment we cannot do the direct deployment we have to take approval and then we have to do it that's why uh and we can also use parallel directive parallel is used when you know when you want that uh, these step suppose there are multiple environments and you want to trigger those steps parallelly on all the environments then you can use the parallel directive too okay so basic steps are what you can give the question uh, the answer to the question that what are the basic pipeline steps is first of all 
the checkout code in which we have to fetch the code uh, from the HCM, then the build then third is you know testing we can uh, you know configure testing accordingly like using sonar cube or waps or something then uh, you can uh, you know uh, make the, make the image of it or you can directly put push it into artifactory or you can uh, you know build the image docker image and then push it to ecr and then third step uh, you know last step is the deployment to the environment so these are the main steps that you that they can ask that what all steps are there in a pipeline script so i have already given uh, there was one video of mine where i've already explained the parameterized pipeline very properly like uh, how will you give uh, you know uh, how when using when like this expression when expression we can check the parameters and then accordingly we can do Cleaning workspace is very important to uh, clean the builds uh, or clean the uh, any old artifacts from the target. So cleaning workspace, it helps in, uh, you know, uh, cleaning the space and everything. So you can add this point too. Okay, accordingly, we'll, you know, st uh, build stage, if you are, if it's a Maven application, uh, if, sorry, if it's a Java application, we'll be using Maven. So things like if it's a, you know node.js so npm so like this you have to tell and then uh, you know uh, you can uh, put the security checks tools and then you can even uh, you know create an image so uh, that for that uh, you know stage again the stage will be created we have to write you know creating a docker image uh, and then you can push it to ecr and from there we can deploy it into the uh, environments whatever environment we want after that we can give the post checks also like post if always what has to be echoed and in success what has to be uh, echoed and in failure what has to be echoed. so that check can be given okay then uh, uh, our uh, multi how to configure multi-branch pipeline in, in this we have to go to manage plugins we have to install the multi-branch pipeline plugin and then we can do accordingly second thing is what they can ask suppose if you don't want to expose any credentials in our pipeline script then what are you doing for that also we have a plugin of credential plugin that we can install and uh, in a pipeline script we have to use with uh, uh, with underscore credential in that uh, underscore credential in, inside that credential we have to give the uh, the value that the key of the uh, you know variable that we have want to fetch so that credential plugin we can store the credentials over there so this is one thing second is how will you maintain versioning in jenkins and so this is also one of the common question how to maintain version in jenkins so we can use git tags whatever git tags when we git tag push and we are pushing the tags that we can use for versioning or the commit hash for unique version uh, tracking the Ha the com I'd commit id actually we can use or we can use jenkins build number in which we have to you know use like this uh build type number so basically uh in uh, uh this for this we can there is also a plugin of setting build uh, setting the uh, build number so that we can install and accordingly we can uh, maintain versioning with that or we can use version file so in our hcm tool only we can we'll create a file or version.txt where we'll mention the version and that we can refer in our code so that we can do so in this way you can tell that you can maintain the version in jenkins then how to schedule a backup in jenkins so for that also um, uh, 
we have uh, we have to install uh, the uh, plugin for that uh, and then accordingly uh, in our uh, var lib jenkins we have to create a jenkin backup folder and in that we have to give uh, ownership to jenkins so that whenever the backup is created the jenkin user user through which that that backup will run it has uh, access then uh, you know we can schedule those backups accordingly like full backup or differential backup or what kind of backup we need we can schedule it accordingly and in this way you can do the backup so uh, so guys uh, i have tried to cover almost all the questions that can be asked so uh, also i'll give this in description section so that you can refer it from there so yeah, that's all so that's all for today's video i hope it's helpful and let me know your views in comment section and um, yeah so bye take care